Go on, go on, go on, talk, 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 uh, you, you need to calm down with your ego. So, no, I'm joking. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, no, I haven't experienced it. I was just kidding. I just wanted to make that point. Nice. I think a manager, when, when a manager has a personal agenda, I wrote that on the on the post Yeah. Um, to strengthen their own careers. Yeah. And and the lady at the front, she basically mentioned that not allowing any team members to have their own initiative. And, and giving them respect to be able to, you know, to show that they can actually make their own decisions and, and apply good ideas to existing processes. The process should be organic. It shouldn't be fixed. Um, so, so any manager who's got like an iron fist or totalitarian approach to, uh, uh, like, basically controlling his team or her team is wrong in my eyes because it doesn't get it. it, it, it it's demoralising for every team member. And when I say personal agenda, I want to go a bit further than that and say that when, when, when a manager has a dislike for someone and a like for someone is quite apparent, that in itself is, is demoralizing. Um, um, so, and it, and, it, and it affects the, the actual overall performance of every individual, not just those, yeah. the two in question. Certainly. How many of you have been in a situation where your manager um, wasn't really interested in your performance. The manager was more interested in how much you could do for them, or the staff, who, who could brown nose him the most, or her the most, mm -hmm. um, rather than actually looking at performance-driven sort of tasks, and who you were as an individual. And those sort of things are really, really important to remember when you become managers yourselves. Um, and